Another 24-year-old uh, that's kind of doing really good things as well at AAA, Logan T. Allen, not the Logan Allen who was up uh, with the Guardians before. Um, he's made three starts and no record yet, but again, same kind of M.O., um, not giving up a lot of runs, striking out a lot, and not giving up a lot of hits. Yeah, and if you can do those things, you're going to be a pretty good pitcher, right? I mean, it's just, <laughs> yeah. there's no mystery. Um, if, if you keep the other team off the board, and that's what he's done. His changeup is outstanding. You know, he came up last year, and Logan Allen really struggled. I mean, he only went two-thirds of an inning in his first AAA start, and that happened to him again later on in the year. As the year went along, you started to see maybe the confidence build a little bit. His last start in 2022 was very good for the Clippers, and he has picked up right where he left off with three outstanding starts, two combined earned runs allowed. He's striking out a lot of batters. You know, fastball, 92-93, but a very, very sharp slider and a, a devastating changeup when he sets it up properly and executes it. So when he came up last year, you were kind of thinking, okay, maybe this is a guy who's going to get to the higher levels and is going to see more mature hitters who don't chase quite as much. But he has developed and he has continued on that track to where he looks like absolutely a, a viable candidate to be one of those, if needed, called upon by the Guardians we can go up and, and give you a quality outing. You mentioned no record. He hasn't pitched deep enough into games. 80 pitches his last time out. That's about where they've kept him in his first three starts. Uh, so as he gets more and more stretched out, gets deeper into ball games, uh, he'll start racking up the wins with quality starts like he has had. Yeah, 14 and a third uh, in those three starts. Just 10 hits, two earned, uh, five walks, 20 strikeouts. 189 is the average against. Um, what stands out left-handed, which uh, kind of opens my eyes up, what, um, what kind of separates him from, from what you have seen last year to this year? Well, I think confidence is key and, and also execution. Uh, he was throwing a lot of pitch. That's why he only went two-thirds of inning. It's not that he was getting knocked around necessarily. It's just that the pitch count got so high you couldn't, you know, they're not going to let a guy throw 30, 35 pitches in an inning who was a prospect on the Cubs. So just command of those pitches. The fastball was good. And again, it's not a high velocity uh, from a left-hander. He's going to be 93, occasionally 94 with a fastball. But knowing how to pitch and executing those pitches, I think, has been the difference for him this year. He is uh, you know, throwing the same arsenal. He's just doing it better this year, and it's, and it's paying off for him.